A most menial night of browsing. Somewhere around interwebs. A post of unusual insight suddenly peeps from the vaguely intense fields of the microblog. It is not a copy. It's not a copy of a copy. Not a repeat, not a reply, not a repost, not a reblog. Something original. A sweet commentary. A piece of opinion so pure, so accurate. It's like you stole the inside of my brain and wrote it out for your 67 followers to see. We must be soulmates. I browse your Tumblr. Cue your YouTube. Follow your Twitter. You comment with witticisms. You video trivialities. And you like Sherlock the Office. Harry Potter too. Now, just when I think you can't get any better, here is a picture. A naked picture? A naked, sassy, ironic, duck-faced picture that hides your bits and reveals your soul. God, you're so cute. How are you so cute? I can't deal. I bet you hate me. That's it. I quit. Your face. I can't even. Just leave right now. I ship us together. You are an artwork of a person. Still trying to comprehend your perfection. I watch you for days. I know your fandoms, your life skills, your vague location. How I long for you to talk to me. To realize I exist. Arduous perfection of a witty reblog comment to capture your attention goes to waste. Because nothing in my gift folder can quite describe my feelings. I proclaim my love to nothing and no one. And resign myself to lonely nights, crying over your latest political rant. But then... Something new. But not quite right. Defiant of all logic. Or reason. All amateur personality profiling. There it is. It is not a copy. Not a copy of a copy. Not a repost, not a repeat, not a reply, and not a reblog. Something offensive. A defamatory statement. A piece of satire so inappropriate, so blatantly detestable, it's like you spent a decade in the mountains studying only how to best defend my feminist sensibilities. Did this just happen? You never seem this ignorant before. I cannot, your reason. Why are you ruining my life like this? I must summon every facet of my self-control. Maybe it was a mistake. A hack. A virus. I will send a polite message, gently reprimanding you. Prodding you into repentance. Only to have you reply. You cannot take my meme from me. I'll say what I want because freedom of speech. How ironic. <sighs> Romantic images of us blogging side by side have been replaced by killing you with fire. I hope you sneeze when you vomit, you detestable douche canoe. You are less logically sound than a Stephanie Meyer plotline. I hope someone uses your fucking pets to beat you to death. I will end you, you cock juggling thunder cunt. Alas, you seem to be the victim of a well orchestrated smear campaign. Does it offend your masculine sensibilities? And not a single fuck was given. Bitch, I am fabulous. <laughs> Forever alone.